But, one thing I can say is that anything Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network do is animated way better than Family Guy. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you speak that false. It's those things. I mean, I brought it up at work at one point. I was just like, the Family Guy just used like the same seven arm movements. And then so the person next to me, because it was on TV at work, they were just moving their arms exactly how the characters were. <laughs> and it was really easy because it was really, move your arm out, back to your side, do it with both arms, back to your side. <laughs> Very basic arm movements. You broke the teeth. I mean... They animate when they want to, which is very rare. But even when they do it, it's all robotic looking stuff. So. I personally think Family Guy should have ended a long time ago. I feel like it should have ended at like season 7. I don't know how many seasons there are now. There are like 15, I think, 15 or 16. Yeah. I feel like it should have ended like season uh, 7. Because season 7 is when like half the episodes were okay. The other half kind of sucked. Season 8, you know what? You, never mind, I think after Season 8, because Road to, Road to the Multiverse is, is, a, is one of the best episodes. <laughs> and it is not just because it has a different, like, a, a bunch of different concepts and um, animation, uh, concepts and art styles. Because it, it is honestly just a well-written episode. Plus, I always liked it when, like, they strayed away from the main cast and used just, like, one or two of the characters. Stewie like, and Brian yeah. adventures are normally the best episodes, yeah. and they haven't been doing that as much. Well, the, the reason why is because they've done it to where every episode kind of focuses on Stewie and Brian doing something while the other characters are just there. Like an A and B plot. Yeah. And those episodes suck. Yeah they're terrible. When it's all about Stewie and Brian going on an absolute crazy wild adventure, they're normally much better. Like, as much as I think Road to the North Pole is the weakest of those episodes, it's still, still it was still enjoyable. Yeah. They're, they're, like, and also, I don't know if I would say good. <laughs> uh, the theme was weird. It, the theme was, the, I like, I like the, uh, I kind of like the industrialized look of the North Pole. I think that's an Bungee jump for a golden spatula. Go up on the giant mountain. Not here. Alright, you can see this one. Go up on the corners. Does he bungee from his underwear? Yeah. You see his anus crack. It's good. Do you see it to the butthole? Oh, yeah, you could talk to me. It's just like, you need to watch a. My Hero Academia Season 4. It's uh, good. And we need to watch the sub every day, like, it, it releases. And I was just like, I can't. <laughs> I, I, I can't watch anime like that. I have to binge it. I... I'm more... Like, I would always be like, it has to be dubbed or I won't watch it. No, I don't but care now if it's sub. But now I've actually found more appreciation for the originals than the du dubs can be good and dubs can be bad. Like, I prefer My Hero Academia dubbed. So do I. And I prefer, like, uh, Psyche K. I prefer that. I prefer Kill La Kill dubbed. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, let's see, Dragon Ball I prefer dubbed just because I I'm don't just, yeah, like, I don't like Goku having the high-pitched voice. That's Oh, yeah, that's right. He does have a high-pitched voice. Which, like, I understand, but, like, I just personally... <laughs> But he also has the kind of high pitch and like he just has a normal pitch voice and it goes high pitch when it needs to in uh, in uh, in English. Yeah. Also, I just like Goku's Freeza. Goku's English voice actor. I just like the way he portrays the character. And Goku is not a very good character. He's very he's very bland. Yeah. Like, every other character in Dragon Ball is better than Goku. Uh... Like not. Not power wise. Yeah, I know. My, my favorite character is probably uh, Super Broly. Mine's Vegeta. 
like any form of Vegeta because Vegeta just knows exactly. Can I get up there? I I've tried it before. I don't know. That's not that try. Okay. <laughs> but I just love every form, like every single way Vegeta acts, and I like how awkward Trunks is. Because he has to save his future. <laughs> like in Dragon Ball Fighters, when he just says, I used a time machine to come here for 10, from a thousand years to the future. See? Can't go bold. Without the bubble bowl. Oh yeah, you wanna know what I thought of everything. Hang, hang on. Can I see something real quick? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna have a small noise. Okay. Put the socks up there. Oh. So the sock falls when you successfully do that, but you can get it without doing that. So, uh, by going near the top or something? I don't remember. Oh, I know. I remember now. Uh, I'll give it back to once I there get you go. I'll just once once I guess. Once I guess, please. Through. But, uh. Yeah. So, like, whenever I. S like. Whenever I watch a show, like, or watch an anime or whatever, I will ch check to see if there's a dub for it, and when it's, like, when I'm really tired and I don't want to read, I'm going to check if there's a dub for it, and if there isn't, I'm probably not going to watch it at that moment. I get you. I started watching Angel Beats because it was late at night, and, uh, I wanted to start a new show to watch, and, uh, it had a dub, and because I was tired, I didn't want to read, so I watched it. This is water, not food. Stupid. But I watched it, and it's actually pretty good, but I don't know how you would respond to it, because the whole concept is that um, it's a rebellion force trying to fight against God, hmm. simply because um, people, uh, people worship God, and they're just like, well, that isn't fair, because our lives were taken from us in the most unfair way. That's fair. And I thought that was an interesting concept. Alright, can I do it? No, I can't. Maybe... That's too far. Oh, you need to use... I know what I know what you have to do now. Well, I can't do it, but... I know what you have to do to do it. I'm not good at breaking this game. <laughs> Because there is a glitch in this game which speedrunners always use. It's called cruise boosting. Where you just use the, uh, you know, like the missile. Yeah. You use that and it gives SpongeBob a speed boost. So when you're bouncing in the air, it would actually boost him um, faster. So that'd be the way to get it. Or maybe you just need to go even farther. Too long of legs for this. I don't think I have. Shut up. The legs. I didn't ask you. I don't care if you didn't ask me. I can't to the two legs. To the finger. I didn't know these TG heads and now I've seen that approaching them. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they know their untimely demise was soon. Dude, what it can I just can I pull game theory like right now? Sure. What if all these TGs in SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom have thoughts and emotions? What if they're sentient? What if they're sentient beings here sent by King Neptune to defend the to defend the realm, but he was stupid and sent out beings that couldn't do it fucking anything. I like how there's that argument on one episode's fun. Where it's like Neptune while you're forsaking us and his wife is like, Oh honey, you're stupid. Everyone knows Poseidon is the ruler of the sea. Ah! Every yeah, I do remember that. Everyone knows that Poseidon is the ruler of the sea. That was in a that was in an episode. I remember, I know what that episode. It was like Sponge Henge. It was, was, the, it, it was, was the one about the winds. And yeah, stuff. Sponge Henge. It was a joke on Stonehenge. Yeah, but with Sponge. But with Sponge. 
But uh, that I don't really like that episode, but I do like that joke at the end. Why, Neptune? Why, dear Neptune? I can tell the now. Oh, okay. Everyone knows that Poseidon is the ruler of my house. What if you saw Poseidon right at your front door and said, This is my house? No. I'd ask where's the water, idiot. And he'd say it's on my door. <laughs> He's in one of those foot baths. Like that middle aged women use. Oh, I turn this on. There's the button. <laughs> the power behind his stance. <laughs> he just... That's a weird slant. That slant seems like you'd be able to walk up. But no, they made it unwalkable. Ho 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 ho. Enter the funny cave. I was just trying to think about miss something, but it doesn't matter. 